My country people, I don't care what I come oh, back on I hear this Obonga breaking news oh, this one eh, back I told on her today, so that eh, anyone where they prepare to eh, abuse me, make sure that you do what, make sure you prepare very well because all the news what I go give today are from Simon Epa, and eh, when I don't say me, I know they, I don't support anything, I, I don't be fan of anybody, if you come my, if you appear on my news, I go criticize you the way I like. Are you hearing me now? Uh, so, and I, I don't already wear my helmet for people who go abuse me on the comment section. If, anytime, even if you throw bomb, you know, go reach my head because I don't wear helmet already. So, make on a day ready. NLC order will not be respected in the Southeast, Simon Ekpa declares. Tell me what are you declaring? Does it mean that you like what the Nigerian people are passing through? Even if Nigeria is as bad as Ladat, must you use what Nigeria is doing to be punishing ordinary citizens in that very country? That is my question, and I need answers from you. Maazi Simon Ekpelima. How can you not obey what the, uh, the Labour Congress is saying, despite the fact that they have already called off uh, the strike? Uh, the phone for job, what we hand out in Nigeria. They have already uh, 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 fooled their pockets now. Everybody don't disappear. Uh, you will think that they are fighting for the poor masses, but they are only fighting for their own. The NNPC, the Nigerian government, even as well, could pay these people now. That uh, TUC chairman and the NLC chairman. We know about all these things. They are not fighting for us. But that does not mean you will come out and tell us that uh, we will not obey what is happening. That means uh, that a uh, full hike in price, you will, you will like it simply because you their country way lot the work. Now you can't do that place now. You can't cause confusion in the country. In another man's country. Because as it starts now, you are not a Nigerian. You are using a, 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 a Finland passport as a Finland lawyer and also a Finland politician. Causing problem in Nigeria and in Biafra land. My dear, we are not going to take that nonsense from you. Be very, very careful. Oh yeah, commentators, I'm not going to come and attack me. <laughs> I beg you, na me, mo, we, mo, I never change you. Na ukute de talko from my own side. I don't come this morning. In short, I'm landing this morning from Casablanca, Morocco. <laughs> now there, from there, I just land this morning. You know, if you want to look me very well now, I go see, say, I do the fresh, fresh anyhow. And I make a day for this on our country. Make it to give me. I must uh, always land, land from somewhere every morning before I give my news and go back to where I'm coming from. <laughs> so, my wonderful people, make on a keep subscribing, you know, keep liking. Even the ones where they abuse me in comment section, my dear, make on a they come. I don't wear a helmet, helmet of protection to protect my hair from any uh, <laughs> any bad comment that may come my way. So, if you are ready, please touch your seat back because we are about to go to the reason why we are here this very morning. A Biafra agitator, Mazi Simon Ekwilima, has said any order by the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, will not be respected in the southeastern region. On Tuesday, Epa, a Finland-based lawyer and Prime Minister of the Biafran government, the public in exile, BG, disclosed this through his verified Twitter handle. According to him, the authorization of Biafra referendum is gradually setting in. Now, so we take the hearing every day. He claimed that any order by Nigeria's establishment will not be honored in the Southeast. The Nigerian Labour Congress will not be respected in Biafra territory. Any order from any Nigerian establishment is not welcomed in Biafra land, according to Simon Ekberima. We are gradually moving a safe governance, which will later lead to safe referendum. When we, ready, when we are ready for this, the world will be notified. Follow the liberation of Biafra step by step as we do the magic, he wrote. NLC had on Monday night suspended its planned strike over fuel subsidy removal, which led to the petrol increment from 197 naira per litre to over 500 naira. In another development, Egba has listed among international pol uh, politicians who endorsed former United States President Donald Trump's 2024 presidential election bid. Or the hearing, okay, oh, subsidy removal, Nigeria Labour Congress is a betrayer, a day and Jew Knox Labour. For suspending strike. They are betrayer. We know about all this for a very long time. The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, has been described as a betrayer for spending the proposed nationwide or for suspending the proposed nationwide strike. 
Deji Adeyanju, a public affairs commentator, accused the NSC of being compromised. Nigeria Labour Congress have vowed to declare a nationwide strike on Wednesday, but they have called it off late Monday night. But on Tuesday night, the Labour Union's uh, NLC and TUC called off the nationwide strike. Reacting, Adeyanju tweeted, Wake up to see the betrayal by NLC. I knew this was going to happen. Once you see people who should be protesting almost sleeping in the villa, compromise is the next thing, of course. You see them every day they are in the villa. Now, so Ghana must go just to take the worker from office to, from one hand to the other. They suspended the strike without achieving anything. A hungry man cannot do a luta, a luta continue. Shame, according to Deji Adeyanju. <laughs> this man, you have a point here. I, 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 100%, I totally agree with you. Nigerian frustrations with APC. Others say, now wait to make Labour Party. He can the what? He can the popular APC vice chairman states. The vice chairman of the All Poverty Congress APC in the Northwest, Nigeria, Salihu Lukman, has offered an explanation for the Labour Party's growing popularity. According to Lukman, it is due to Nigerians' dissatisfaction with the current political parties, including his own APC. Lukman outlined his viewpoint in a statement released to journalists on Tuesday. He expressed the belief that Nigerians have grown tired of seeming uh, uh, stagnation and the lack of innovation within the ruling APC, leading them to look towards a party with a dynamic functioning structure. In addition to these organs, NA, NAC and the NEC and the National Caucus, the amended APC constitution created three new structures, namely the Women's Wing, Youth Wing, and the Person Living with Disabilities Wing, he said. Outside the initiatives of the presiding officers of these three structures, since April 2022, following the assumption of office of Senator Abdullahi Adamu, led new working committee. Nothing has been done to organize the Women's Youth, the Women's Youth and Person Living with Disabilities Wings. They are, can never do that because how can you to come into the gathering of the old fools who are bent on uh, destroying the country? Lukman pointed to the Labour Party's success in the 2023 elections as a testament to Nigerian citizens' frustrations with the current political climate. Lukman, though, the, popular, the popularity of a Labour Party during the 2023 elections is partly a reflection of the frustration of Nigerians with our political parties, including APC, which I belong, according to Lukman. Nigerians are now looking for parties with vibrant structures whose internal uh, debates and contests would aggregate the diverse interests of the so called Nigerian citizens. He further suggested that uh, as long as the APC continues to function as a closed structure, President Bola Tunumbu might struggle to secure the necessary political le legitimacy needed to win the support of Nigerians, especially when it comes to implementing challenging policy choices. No doubt, difficult decisions must be taken to effectively resolve our challenges as a nation. However, in taking those difficult decisions, it will be much easier to implement when the government is able to win the support of Nigerians through engagement with organized groups, he added. Apabio, some people laying stumbling block for Tunumbu Wike Asachans. <laughs> this is a political guru. As a dependent that was there, now you are ex governor. And you are trying everything humanly possible to make sure that your voice is heard. Anyway, sir, we know that you are a controversial human being. And you keep on doing controversial things so that your voice will be heard. Even if, uh, if a mother is visiting uh, Asorok every two, two hours. Because you are looking for appointments. I'm very, very sure you are the one that uh, uh, Daniel Boala is uh, talking. That you are pushing to become the, the, the CBN governor. How? I mean, how? Former governor of River State. I like this word. Former governor of River State. No more as independent. No more Ogoro voice or frog voice. Now you are now to face the reality of life. The immunity that is guiding you is no more. Has declared is a total support. For God's will, Akbabio to emerge as the Senate President for the 10th National Assembly. According to Wiki, those against Akbabio's choice are only trying to lay a stumbling block in the path of the administration of uh, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, 
so there can be room for rancor between the executive and legislative arms of the government. The former governor, who was quoted by his uh, media head, Kevin Ebidi, in a statement in Port Harcourt on Tuesday, stated that those working against the emergence of Akbabio are those who earlier fought against Tunumbu's presidential ambition. But tracing his support for Akbabio further, Wike was said to have submitted that uh, it is right for the South South to produce the next Senate president because the, the region has only produced one Senate president far back in 1979. Joseph Wyas, while the South East have produced over seven. He said, there is something going in the country now about the Senate presidency and the House leadership, and everybody knows my position. My position is that the Senate president should come to the South South. We are not talking about presidency of the country now. We are done with that. If you agree that Senate presidency should go to the South, tell me the truth. Where should it go? It can be to the Southwest. It can be to the Southeast. South South has only produced one Senate president far back in 1979, Joseph Wires. Southeast has produced over seven. He added that the Tunumbu administration should be allowed to kick off on a cordial note with a legislative arm by supporting the preferred candidate of the president and the leadership of the All Progressive Congress, APC. The party All Progressive Congress and the president appear to have a soft spot for Akpabio. I would have thought that uh, people will say, look, allow this administration to start uh, on a very good uh, foundation so nobody gives us uh, excuses that uh, that's why this administration could not start on good footing is because of the rancor between the executive and the legislator if mr president doesn't have a smooth administration at the end of the day who suffers it is it, it not nigerians let us believe that we are all one let us give everyone a sense of belonging According to Yesom Wike, he added, alleged 6.9 billion fraud. Fire say granted permission to travel abroad for medical treatment. You see this no news. Why I brought this news? Uh, I'm not supposed to read this news because uh, it is not uh, my business uh, of uh, how much they siphoned or how much they looted or how much they thieved or how much fraud they are being charged of. But let me bring this to a notice. Fire say is granted. They have been granted permission to travel abroad for medicals. Nam the Kano have been crying since. Just grant him permission for all his physicians to visit him at the DSS confinement or solitary confinement. Even when the court says yes, the DSS, the cabals, the Sokoto Caliphate, and the, the ruling class, they said nothing of such. In other words, they have already planned. A, a, a silent assassination of of Mazi Nam the Kano. That is exactly what I see it. Somebody who stole over six point nine billion naira have not for one day been in detention, but now he have been granted permission to travel abroad for medical treatment. Then somebody who is supposed to have that immunity is now being treated like a common criminal criminal in solitary confinement or in DSS dungeon called solitary confinement. Nigeria can never work this way. Since the, 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 any law that is made in Nigeria is for the rich, simply for the rich, not for the poor. Law, they made the law that they cannot abide on. Then that same law is what is guiding them against the poor masses in the country. Over 6.9 billion naira, fraud. And now I've been granted permission. Who tell you that when you go there, you will come back? Mount you don't have a, the, 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 the necessary documents or even to drag him back home. He will go there now and remain there. And it will become only on paper. That is what we are hearing. Even if you hear it again. Because after this, I am not sure that this news will come up again. Because this money has been shared long ago. The former governor of the state, Ayo Delefa Yose, has been granted permission by the Federal High Court sitting in Lagos to travel abroad for medical treatment. This is a former governor of the state. And he's traveling abroad for medical treatment. Our court is the problem we are having in this so-called Nigeria. So he couldn't build a very good facility that will attend to him and his family while being uh, as a governor. 
but they stole over 6.9 billion naira and stuck it outside the country and buy houses and properties all over the world. Yet, the same court is what is granting him. Why can't this court ask him, what have you done with the, 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 the revenue of uh, equity state? They will not ask. They are the problem we have in Nigeria. They will set this country on fire when, one day. Judiciary in Nigeria will set this country on fire. Imagine a court granting him uh, permission to travel abroad for medical treatment. Okay, what happens to our own uh, this thing? Are they not the same people who went to the, 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 the bill, I mean, uh, to the house, to prevent resident doctors not to travel abroad after five years? If all these prominent men are traveling abroad, who is going to patronize all these people? Is it uh, somebody who is selling Akara and they all go in the market that will come when you give them a bill of 10,000 naira, they'll be begging you with 5,000. Well, look at the big shots. Who's supposed to all this money they're going abroad to spend? Even going there now, now see Nigerian doctors is going to attend to them. Where they have enough equipment. But in their own state, where they are former governor, or where they are current governor, they cannot even equip a single hospital, even if it is the government hospital, not private. Equip it very well that when all uh, these our uh, uh, eight mothers and fathers go there, they find something that they can use to sustain their life. Rather, they choose to let them die for nothing. Nigerians gathered that a fire who is standing trial on 11 counts, bordering on money laundering and stealing to the tune of 6.9 billion naira before the court, was given permission during Tuesday's proceedings. It was learned that the court granted him the permission before the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, uh, did, and they did not object. You see, I'm... They did not object to it. During those proceedings, or during yesterday's proceedings, proceedings, a former Minister of State for Defense, Senator Musio Obanikuru, who is the 12th prosecution witness, completed his testimony in the case. Obanikuru, who started uh, giving evidence on January 31, noted that the role played by one of his heirs, Justin Eruqua, now deceased. According to the former minister, he sent Eru Eruka on errands and part of the errands was to collect over $1 million and that Eroka came to meet him in Ekiti. Obanikro had also retreated his earlier testimony that he was not pri uh, privy to any discussion between former Governor Ayos Ayo Fayoshe and former uh, NSA, N uh, National Security uh, 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 Association, or whatever it's been called. Meanwhile, the court is said to have admitted in, a, uh, in evidence the statements made by the left Eruka before his death. It was also gathered that monies in issue in the case were said to have originated from the office of the former National Security Advisor, Sambo Dasuki, for the purpose of prosecuting the 2014 equity governorship elections. Justice Tuku, 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 Tuku and Eke are joined the further proceedings in the trial to July 18 and 19. So who is standing the trial is nowhere to be found. Now he will go out there without not coming back. I wrote my PhD on Boko Haram. Lawmaker explains why terrorism increases on daily basis. The senator elect for Ondo South Senatorial District, Jimo Ibrahim, said on Tuesday that uh, he wrote his second PhD on Boko Haram. The lawmaker disclosed that uh, this while speaking on a topic arresting insecurity and growing violent attacks on the channel television's program politics today. The All Poverty Congress APC chapter noted that Nigerians have spent a huge amount of money in the last 20 years to fight against terrorism. Yet, Boko Haram terrorists still operate in the country because of uh, its corruption. According to him, Boko Haram is a political problem that must be dealt with in different ways the government and military have been approaching it. I wrote my second PhD on Boko Haram. Nigeria has spent over $1.2 trillion on Boko Haram in the last 20 years. Children have left NDA as lieutenants. They have become major generals in Boko Haram, and the war is still there. Jimo Ibrahim. Is the military a challenge to herself? No, Boko Haram is a political problem. So you have to socialize politically to solve Boko Haram. The first thing for Mr. President to do is to withdraw his soldiers from the front of Boko Haram and return them to the barracks, Ibrahim said. Responding further to a question by the interviewer, the lawmaker said 
Do you think Boko Haram will carry gun and be shooting the, uh, himself? When you use a conventional strategy to approach unconventional war, you are going to fall. The military strategy here isn't the best. The military is using a conventional war strategy to confront an unconventional war. Boko Haram is an unconventional war, according to the writer. You can't deploy troops. You need to look for information gathering, so, uh, information gathering, socialization, look for stakeholders. We are not in Russia or U Ukraine. When asked what he should advise President Bola Tunumbu to do to end Boko Haram, Ibrahim said, you have to socialize domestically. Assuming you have spent 10% of 1.2 trillion uh, naira or dollars on political socialization, Boko Haram will have disappeared. But you spend 89% of fact on factors that are not significant to confront Boko Haram. Boko Haram will be there. Who will stop it? According to Jimo Ibrahim. Well, you make a, you make a very vital uh, uh, point here. And I must agree with you because most of the Boko Harams is our cadets. Yes, who is our people. We are supposed to be there. Uh, fighting for their country. But on a general level, they were being whisked away and lured into the Boko Haram. And that is their foot soldiers that are fighting for them. Rest now. Bashar Ahmed reacts as court dismisses suit against Tunumbu. The special assistant on digital communication during the administration of a president, uh, Muhammad Buhari, Bashar Ahmed, had reacted on the court order dismissing the suit against Bola, uh, President Bola Tunumbu regarding the 25% votes in the Federal Capital Territory. According to Ahmed, it is time for everyone to rest. His reaction follows the declaration of by Federal Court, Federal High Court in Abuja on Tuesday, which resulted a lawsuit filed by five residents of the Federal Capital Territory aiming to prevent the inauguration of Bola Tunumbu as president. Presiding judge Yang Eko instructed the, the lawyer representing the five plaintiffs to pay 10 million naira each to the Attorney General of the Federation and the Chief of Justice, Nigeria CGN. The plaintiffs, Anye Bunam Okoye, David Alza, Jeffrey Uche, Osango Paul, and the GBK Mwachu Kwanchuku in the suit filed on April 28 avowed that Tunumbu failed to secure at least 25% of votes in the Federal Capital Territory. They charged the court to set aside the certificate of return issued to Tunumbu and restrain the CGN and uh, any other judicial officer from swearing in any candidate in the presidential election as president or vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria pending the determination on the suit. However, the suit was dismissed on Tuesday for lack of merit and local standing. Reacting to the development, Ahmed wrote on his Twitter account, a federal high court in Abuja has dismissed a suit against President Tunumbu's inauguration over 25% of the federal capital territory votes. This part has also come to an end. Anyone, sh anyone should rest now, according to the Bashir Ahmed, the former aide to President Mamamadu Buhari of uh, APC. The last year but not the least, this one is coming from Reno Omonkita. Despite links to a cartel, this is what Tunumbu has achieved in his first week, Omokri lamented. Let us see the achievement of the former uh, 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 governor of Lagos State as president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Former presidential head Reno Omonkita has listed pres uh, President Bola Tunumbu's achievement in, the, in his first week in office, according to him, because he, he promised us if his first day from office, he will hit the ground running. And they asked him what about the second day. He said he's still running and still running and still running. And that is where we run in, ran into this uh, fuel subsidy removal and the fuel hike. Nobody knows the cause. The cause of it is that he told us he will keep running. Where are you running to? That is how our fuel is keep running. Hmm. Speaking via a post on, on Facebook, the political analysts argue that Tunumbu has been more accessible to labor and trade unions in one week than Buhari was in four years. He, is, he, he insisted that in one week, Tunumbu has exhibited his ability to address key issues plunging the economy. The staunch supporter of the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate 
in the last election, Atika Bubaka cited the removal of first subsidy, the quelling of nationwide strike plan by Nigeria Labour Congress as some of the achievements. The post reads, Waziri Atiku Abubakar is my preferred choice. He would have been better than Tunumbu and may the presidential election petition court give him victory, according to Reno Omonkita. However, I do, I do know that uh, the fuel subsidy is gone. A single Naira exchange rate is uh, emerging. The, 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 the NLC has been persuaded to see reasons. The president Tunumbu meet, is meeting with the heads of strategic uh, agencies and giving them executive directions. The military is uh, harmoniously subordinate to this regime. Nigeria has just posted a trade surplus. The stock market has received a boost and a lie. And there is relative peace in the land. Yes, he has he has known cartelings. He has known cartelings. Nevertheless, President Bola Tunumbu has performed very well for his first week in office, according to Reno Omokiri. So, my wonderful people, now here we will go take stock. I beg, make one they do what? Make one of the telephone. Make one of the joy on a day. As you are watching, you know, please make sure this video go viral, like, share, and also comment because we need to see your comments and your likings. I'll be back again with another blockbuster. Make gonna use it one day step down this early uh, Wednesday morning. I'll be right back. Thank you very much, my people.